Hi guys, well I'm just making a quick video about how to edit a photograph so that a part of the photograph stands out and you maintain the colour and the background looks black and white and here's the photograph in question and here's the original and this is the desired effect so what we're going to do is show you how to do that today I made a video just now and the audio got out of sync so I'm going to take my time with this one and show you how to do it nice and slowly and hopefully the video will be okay and I'll be able to upload it. Anyway, what we need to do is we need to select the area we want to select and the best way that I use to do that is with the quick selection tool and if we uh, make the brush size a bit smaller it helps us refine the area we want to select and just drag around the image that we want to select and quick selection tool does its magic basically and then what we want to do is we want to invert the selection shift control I or use the menu at the top if you're not familiar with the hotkeys and then all we need to do is click on image adjustments and black and white now what it's done is it's made the selection which was the inverse of what we actually selected black and white and then you can adjust the black and whiteness using colors or using tints you can tint it, you can change the hue you can change the saturation yeah, we're not going to use that today because I want to keep it black and white but because the picture was predominantly yellow dragging this slider will affect the brightness of the image so anyway, I want the orange to stand out nice and bright so I want the image to be quite dark up there click OK and also what I want to do is if we go back then and invert the selection again so now we're only selecting the middle bit you can also adjust the um, hue and the saturation so I'm going to turn the saturation up so it's nice and bright and I'm going to adjust the contrast a bit there we go well, the other thing you can do is you can refine the edge of the selection which is a good idea because you want to want it to look as realistic as possible you can adjust the radius of the outside of the selection which kind of feathers the edge of it a bit or less radius makes it sharper you can adjust the contrast, the smoothness of the edge What we want to do is we want to make it look as realistic as possible. So it doesn't look like the edge of the photograph has been photoshopped. That's the feathering effect. Just feathers the uh, edge of the selected area. And you can uh, expand it and contract it. If, obviously if you expand the edge of the area, you get a bit of the background in it. So uh, put it just to where it looks acceptable smooth the edge out a bit because it looks a bit down here looks a bit pixelated ok that's not working so well so we'll feather the edge a bit and uh, can adjust the contrast ok uh, right mouse click deselect and there it is basically if you're not happy with the uh, the edge you can undo it and refine the edge and get it the way you want it so that's basically my little video check it out for yourself thanks for watching